COVID-19 new antiviral drugs. To help continue our fight against COVID-19, most governments have approved the use of the antibody-based treatments Ronaprev or EgenCov, as well as Pfizer's COVID-19 oral antiviral drug PF07321332. So, what exactly is Ronaprev? It first made headlines in October 2020 when President Trump received it during his COVID-19 infection. When former President Trump developed COVID-19 in October, he received a five-day course. The FDA gave full approval to the drug soon afterwards, on October 22, for use in patients 12 years and older. The drug is a combination of two monoclonal antibodies known as casarivimab and imdevimab, which can be given intravenously. The antibodies work together to block the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus and stop it from spreading. Pfizer's COVID-19 oral antiviral drug, also known as PF07321332, is an oral medication that is taken every 12 hours for 5 to 10 days. It is designed to block an enzyme the virus needs in order to multiply earlier in its life cycle. The drug is given alongside low doses of the antiviral drug Aritonova to make it last longer. When it comes to how effective these treatments are, the clinical trial of Ronaprev in June found the drug reduced hospitalization by up to 70%. Another Ronaprev trial in hospital showed that it reduced mortality by 20% in some COVID patients. Clinical trials for Pfizer's antiviral drug are still ongoing. So, who is likely to receive these drugs? Ronaprev is expected to be targeted for use in unvaccinated people, probably in hospital and possibly in the community, while Pfizer's drug is said to reduce the severity of onset of illness in adults who have or have been exposed to COVID-19. However, how broadly the treatment is used remains to be seen. In terms of when they will become available to the public, Ronaprev is expected in Australia by the end of this month, and Pfizer's oral antiviral drug is expected to be available over the course of 2022, subject to final clinical trials being completed. These drugs will not replace vaccines, in broad terms you've got vaccines which are there to prevent someone getting a disease, and we've got medications to treat someone if they get a disease. So, these treatments have got two separate purposes. The vaccination was the most important thing we have to work with at the start. But this is also very important as we move to a world where we accept that there's going to be COVID around for a long time. We've also got Molnupirava, and we've also got Citrovimab, sold under the brand name Zevudi, which is another monoclonal antibody. Citrovimab, currently approved for use in the US and Europe, is expected to further assist Australia in its efforts to protect people at risk of developing severe COVID-19 and to manage future outbreaks. The good part about Molnupirava, however, is it's a tablet, while the other one, Citrovimab, is an injection, but they're both very effective at what they were meant to do. Researchers are also testing older medications that are typically used to treat other conditions to see if they are also effective for COVID-19.